pandemic didn't slow down tonight's results, but it did impact the way people vote. WCCO's Jeff Wagner shares how 2020 might turn into a record year for turnout. Jeff? Amelia, I talked with Secretary of State Steve Simon earlier tonight. He said about 90 minutes ago, the state had accepted 500,000 absentee ballots. That's not counting people who voted in person. And those 500,000 mail-in ballots are more than the total number of people who voted in the entire 2016 primary. And Secretary Simon anticipates potentially tens of thousands of absentee ballots will be counted in the next 48 hours. So I just want your viewers to know that when they see, not if, but when they see that at the end of tonight, 100% of the ballots are not known, that is by design, literally by design. So that's not a sign of any county or city screwing up or falling down on the job. That is actually the way the system this year was designed, and I think wisely so. For those of you who did vote in person, you likely noticed several differences compared to previous elections. There were little to no lines at some polling places. There was also an emphasis on sanitation, social distancing, and face coverings. And of course, people got their I voted stickers as well on the way out. Secretary Simon visited polling places, and based on what he viewed and heard from election judges, things went well. He called it a successful dress rehearsal for the general election, and voters we spoke with agreed. I was a little worried about the line and just safety with COVID, pens being reused. I noticed they had single use pens this time and there, were, there wasn't any line. So they're doing like one way traffic. So you enter in one door, exit another door, everything sanitized, have a box of clean pens. So yeah, they did a good job with safety precautions. Election offices in cities and counties will spend the next two days counting more absentee ballots. Secretary Simon says it's possible that some ballots that were put in the mail today or yesterday might not make it in time to be counted. It's why he suggests people mail them during the week before an election day in order to better ensure they're counted on time. So some food for thought for voters come November. Definitely. Thanks, All Jeff. Right, thank you.